Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, we will talk about formula writing and naming acids. So let's begin. Number one, in naming acids, we should be constantly on lookout for the anion present in the acid. And once you find out the anion, we can find out the suffix. So, for example, if we have a non-metal as anion, we are going to follow this pathway. If it's a polyion like 8 or ite or hypoite, we follow the directions given in the table. But let me tell you, there is a much easier method to name the acids. Look at the phrase. I ate something icky. Hopefully, you didn't eat anything icky. But if I ate something icky all night, look at the spelling of night. I-T-E, all night I was nauseous when I took a ride on a hydraulic plane. This phrase is a magical pathway to name and write the formula for an acid. So how do you really use this phrase? You are going to look for the anion. If the anion is ending with 8 like chlorate, carbonate, then the acid will end up with ic. If the polyatomic ion is ending with ite, the acid will be ending with us or us. And if the anion is an ide, like chloride, bromide, then the acid will be hydroic. So let's take the example. The first one is HNO2. Obviously, NO2 is the negative anion. And NO2 stands for nitrite. Look at the last part. Nitrite. All night I was nauseous. So the acid should be ending with us. And that's why we added that. So it becomes nitrous acid. Let's take the next example. It is HF. So the anion is fluoride. Ending with IDE. And we are going to use the last part of the phrase. When I took a ride on hydraulic plane. So using that. The acid becomes hydrofluoric acid. How about H3PO3? PO3 is phosphite. So ending with it. All night I was nauseous. So whenever we have phosphorus or sulfur, you have to add ur there. So it's actually phospho rus acid next one is HIO4 IO4 is per iodate ending with 8 I ate something icky so the acid will be per iodic acid alright let's find out how to write down the formula when acid name is given we need to find out the anion present in an acid. And how do we find that? We look for the acid suffix. And then that leads us to the anion suffix. Like look at the example which we have here. That's ending with ick. Ick goes with I ate something icky. That means the anion must be phosphate. We write down the formula for phosphate as PO43 negative, And then we simply find out what is the ionic compound with hydrogen ion and its hydrogen is positive 1 so it will be H3PO4 let's take the second example per bromic acid ending with ic again so it must be I8 something icky so the parent ion is per bromate what is the formula for per bromate it is BrO4 negative 1 and is going to form a compound with hydrogen which is positive 1. Plus 1 cancels with minus 1. That means we need only one ion each. So formula is HBr4. And we always write down AQ aqueous for an acid. So there you go. Acetic acid ending with ic again. So I ate something icky. That means our anion is acetate. And what's an acetate? It is C2H3O2 negative 1. 
again is going to form a compound with hydrogen. The ionic charges cancel off and that means we only need one ion each. So it is HC2H3O2 and that will be aqueous. And if you want to combine hydrogens, we can write down C2H4O2 and that will be also a perfect answer. So now you know how to write the formula for acid and how to name the acids. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in next video. Until then, bye-bye.